Good morning, you guys. Welcome. Hey, guess what? Today is episode 180. Woohoo! 20 more, and I reached that lovely 200 mark. I can't wait. <laughs> How you doing today? Hope everything's going well for you today. Today, I'm going to shave with a straight razor. Let's get into that right away. I've got the Gold Dollar 208 right here. Yes, that's right, the Gold Dollar 208. A lovely razor indeed. Let me take it out and I will share it with you. There you have it. Lovely and more lovely. Yes, I have it honed, I have it stropped and ready to go. Be using the Moto Blade on the top side, of course. I know, I'm so imaginative, ain't I? <laughs> okay, and also we'll be using K-Shave Works Major Wood Shave Soap. Yes, it's a woody one. Go figure that. I'll also be using Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Sandalwood Shaving After Shave and Cologne. Another lovely, lovely scent to go with the Major Wood which is basically oud wood, teak wood, and cardamom. That's what that is. And then I'll be using my Classic Samurai Shave Brush. A lovely synthetic brush. Feels wonderful, beautiful on the face. And of course I'll be using my Georgetown Pottery Scuttle. All right, you guys, everything's ready to go. And let's get down to today's shave, shall we? All right, you guys, come with me for the soaping. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Once again, we're going to get into this wonderful shave. I'm going to go ahead and hydrate my brush right away and squeeze it out. All right, it has been squeezed out. I'll grab my soap and set her down. I'm also going to move my scuttle out of the way for the moment. Very good. So let's go ahead and load that brush up, shall we? We're going to get a nice, lovely load on this brush so we can shave to our heart's delight. I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Pray that the Lord is leading, guiding, and blessing you every step of the way in every single way and I pray that his mercy remains upon you yep well things are going okay I finally got my studio cleaned up after the hurricane and got things organized again you know I feel like I live like a, a wild something a wild boar when I don't have no power and things get tossed around here and there and gonna six alive I get unorganized for whatever reason okay I have a nice lovely load on this brush and we're gonna go with that I'm gonna take my scuttle and stick my brush in it I'm gonna go ahead and move this off to the side and I'm gonna take any extra cream out of here just kind of clean the tin up a little bit here and then we will whip this lovely soap into oblivion all right very good I'm setting that aside and my water is really hot today so I'm gonna have an extra hot towel experience when we get to that okay and now it's Whipping time. Oh, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? It's whipping time. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of water to my soap. And we're going to get ourselves a decent lather. This brush likes to hold lather. It doesn't like to release it very easily for whatever reason. So you got to kind of work at it a little bit. Of course, that makes it nice because then you put it to your face, the lathers in the brush and not still in your bowl. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna go with this to start. Yes, I realize it doesn't look like much, 
but believe me, that's going to lather famously. Let me go ahead and put that forward for you. And now, I'm going to bring out God's Word. My friend, use your gifts! And that's what this is about. This is coming to us from Romans chapter 12, verses 3 through 8. It says, For the grace given to me, for by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, do not think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the means of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and the, and the members do not all have the same function, so we, though many, are one body in Christ, and individual members one of another, having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us. Let us use them. If prophecy in, pro in proportion to our faith, if service in our serving, the one who serves in his teaching, the one who exhorts in his exhorting, exhortation, the one who contributes in generosity, the one who leads with zeal, the one who does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. All right, I hope I got that all straight. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's God's word for us today. Let's go upstairs to the shave and the devotion. Hiya! I found ya! <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, it's towel time. I'm going to grab this oh-so-hot-to-trot towel. And I am going to squeeze it out. Oh my goodness, it's alive. It is a hot one. All right, very good. And now, my friends, it's time to present the towel. Present the towel. Very good. Whew. Do you have gifts? Of course you have gifts. Don't even begin to think to yourself, the Lord didn't give me any gifts. I say, ha, to you. You know why? Because God gives everyone gifts. Yes, he truly does. He is a Lord of mercy and wonderful glory to us and it's very important that we understand that his love is for us that he is with us yes he has given you gifts and it's a wonderful gift of love that he gives to us it's not just love in the sense that he loves us but he gives us the abilities that we have so that we might use them for his glory that's why we're doing it. And so, he asks you to use those gifts. You know what I'm saying. You don't want to have a gift and not use it. In fact, that really bothers me. You know, when people receive a gift, they receive it in joy and say that they like it, and then there it sits on the shelf forever. What's up with that? Come on, use the gift. Well, you have each been giving gift. A gift of, of some sort. Possibly even many gifts. The point is, you gotta use your gifts. I'm gonna just warm this razor up in the water a little bit. You know, you gotta use your gifts. It's so very important. You know? And, and, and Faith is likened to this too, because not everyone has the same faith. What I mean by that is the same quantity of faith, the same quality of faith. Everyone, without exception, should believe in Jesus Christ. The faith should be the same. However, some people are more bold with their faith, and some to a lesser degree. That's not to shame anybody, 
or to raise anybody up that is simply to say that they have they, that they have a, a life in them that God is going to use that faith for his goodness all right here we go first pass gold dollar 208 good luck Roger <laughs> I can't see okay there we go I can see now kind of Feels nice on chirp today. It better I honed it. <laughs> well, you know. So yeah, you got to use your gifts. They're given to you for a reason and a purpose that you would use them for the Lord's glory. And so he asks us to be honest with ourselves. He asks us to use them for his glory. He wants that for us, you see? It's feeling good. So far, so good. Everything's going fine. All right, there's the first pass. And now the leather up for the second pass. I'm gonna go ahead and wet my face a little bit. And of course, some people squirm and worry because they don't have the gifts that someone else has. Remember, God gives gifts, but he gives different to all kinds of people, okay? So if you don't have, say, the gift of healing, don't stress about it. It's not supposed to be your gift, all right? You can ask him for the gift, and he may very well give it to you, but it's his choice. We're going across the grain now.
Ah, it's feeling good. It's doing good. Lovely, lovely, and more lovely. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, I'm gonna wipe off and I'm going to do it against the green pass for my purple one. Just the underside and the sides. Use a blade straight like this when you're doing the underside. And of course, don't forget to pull your skin tight. Very important when you do this. Very smooth, baby butt smooth. It really is. I mean, <laughs> I love straight razors for that reason. You get them sharp and you keep them sharp and they work beautifully. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Lovely. All right, you guys. I think you get the gist of it today. You know, you got gifts? Use them. Don't let them sit on the back shelf. You know, you got to be careful about that. All right, you guys, you know what time it is? It's fast forward time. Well, it's fast forward time. Well, let it go.
Woohoo! <laughs> Success at last. Oh, that feels so good, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. All right, you guys. And now it's time for the scary part. Ha 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 ha. It isn't shaving with the straight razor. It's this. Ugh. There it is. Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Sandalwood. Alright. It's time to be brave now. Here we go. Whew. A very nice shave, ladies and gentlemen. Truly. A nice shave. And now I get to smell fabulous all day long. I love it. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> All right, you guys, remember, use the gifts that God gave you. Don't worry if you don't have the gift of another. But use what you got. If the Lord has blessed you in a particular area, use it for his glory. Believe me, he will use you with it. And he will do marvelous things in your life. And you will produce much fruit because of it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me again. Bless you, all of you, for being a part of my ministry here as, as we continue to bring the gospel to shavers all over the world. All right, you guys, you guys have a great day in the Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and may he give you Nick Free and Baby Butt Smooth Shaves. Have a great day, everyone. Toodles! <laughs>